Before Boeing was the world's aerospace giant, it was a tiny startup in Seattle, and it did not even carry the Boeing name. In 1916, William E. Boeing, a wealthy lumber entrepreneur with a fascination for flight, founded the Pacific Aero Products Company. His background in timber was no accident. At the time, aircraft were built from spruce and canvas, not aluminium. Boeing saw aviation as the new frontier, and his first designs were simple seaplanes built to lift off the waters of Puget Sound. The company's very first aircraft, the Model 1, B and W seaplane, was hand-built in a boathouse on Lake Union. With twin pontoons and a simple engine, it was basic by today's standards, but it marked the birth of what would become the Boeing dynasty. The company quickly shifted from hobbyist prototypes to serious production, supplying training aircraft for the United States military during World War I. By the 1930s, Boeing had grown into a major manufacturer, but the name Pacific Aero Products was long gone. In 1917, just a year after founding, it was renamed Boeing Airplane Company. And in 1934, after antitrust laws forced aviation conglomerates to split apart, Boeing doubled down on aircraft manufacturing alone, cementing its role as a pure airframer. From that boathouse in 1916 to today's Everett factory, Boeing's DNA runs deep. Every 737, 747 and 777 traces its lineage back to William Boeing's timber-built seaplane. A company born from wood and water went on to shape the jet age. So here's the question. Did Boeing's wooden seaplane beginnings give it the edge? Or would aviation history have looked the same without William Boeing's gamble?